Hi folks, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me today. You may be preparing for the solar eclipse. I won't be watching it here. We got cloudy skies and it's raining. But while you might be watching for the eclipse, NASA is watching three different asteroids that are going to make a close flyby here on Earth. Two of them are the size of an airline. You can see we got 24ED6. It's going to come within uh, 1,300,000 miles of Earth. And then we also got a smaller one. This is the size of a bus. Uh, 2024GQ. That's going to come within 1,340,000 miles of Earth. Yeah, today they don't give us the time though. And the other one, also the size of an airline. Now that's going to be 4,380,000 miles close approach to the Earth. That is 2005 FG. Three, these three asteroids NASA is considering potentially hazardous because they're so close to Earth and because of their size. On JPL they have asteroid uh, 2024 ED6. Let me zoom in a little bit and I'll go a little bit closer. That's probably as large as I can make it without it going off screen. The white line is the asteroid and the blue line is Earth. And let me go back a little bit farther. There you go. Now the other asteroid, 2024 GQ, that's going to be closer, but it's a bus size asteroid. That one's supposed to be about 40 feet across. The other one is 160 feet across. The next one, which is much larger, uh, 2005 FG, is 180 um, feet across. Yeah, supposedly it's going to be farther away, but it actually looks closer. So maybe it's um, farther away because it's below the Earth's orbit. Here we have 2024 GQ. Let me do its orbit. That one looks pretty darn close, but that one, let me bring it in. That one is much smaller. As you know, it could be bumped by another asteroid. It could be pulled into the Earth because of the gravitational pull of our planet or even the moon. And many times, you know, they have small bodies that follow behind them. Um, so we probably could maybe if you're lucky enough during the eclipse to see some uh, shooting stars, some meteorites, things like that. And then tomorrow there's going to be an even bigger one. That one is 650 feet across. It's going to come within 3,610,000 miles of Earth. And that is uh, 2020 BP-13. This one looks like it's going to hang out around us for a while. Um, I'll give you a link to these different JPL interactive maps and you can move. See that? You can move it to uh, different um, hours. Let me pull this up. You can see that. Let me go forward by one day. Let's see if I can go forward here. How do I do that? One day. Okay. Will it refresh on me? Doesn't look like it. Alright, so we'll just... There you go. And it's going to cross over in front of the Earth. Uh, I imagine tomorrow. I don't know. Oh, it gives me the time down here. Um, let me bring it down here so you can see the time. Ended up getting my, my search bar in here. Okay. So that's the 17th. Let me go back. There's the 16th, the 15th, the 14th. Okay. This is... I have to go back for it. That is it today. And it looks like it's going to cross the path of the Earth on the 15th. 
Might, maybe there'll be some sightings of asteroids or meteor showers, things like that. Last night there in Texas, there was nine reports of a fireball that was seen. It must have been big because look at how widespread these reports are. This report says that it was close enough that I was surprised that I didn't hear a boom. Um, there is one image of it right there as it entered the Earth's atmosphere and burned up. Another report from Texas said they think they might have heard a sizzling sound when they saw it. Another report that was close by said it was light green. And then we got another one here. Let's see. Yeah, light green to maybe yellow. So we got one for tomorrow that's going to be a biggie. And then another one which is going to be about 2,800,000 miles, the size of an airline. That's not going to be as big, and that's all they got for right now. I'll give you a link to this page and to the other one about the asteroid, that, or the meteorite, the fireball, that was seen there in Texas. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you do happen to see something during the eclipse, let us know. Uh, like I said, it's raining in here, so no chance of seeing the eclipse. Uh, please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.